We know that God gave the world the Torah and created the world. But how do we know that what's inside the Torah applies to everybody and not just certain people and not other certain people? So we have we start at the beginning. Well, you see, when Cain kills Abel, um, that we see that it, Cain gets killed, gets punished for it. So obviously there has to be some sort of rule against murder or something like that. Otherwise, he would get punished. And we see the same thing in the generation of the flood. Obviously, the people in the flood were doing robbery and doing things that were not appropriate, that they got punished, that the world got destroyed. And the same thing goes for Sodom and Amara, that they were doing different, you know, sins, that they also got to, destroyed. So we see, and these people that are getting destroyed weren't Jewish people specifically. They were just people that were created. And we see, so we see that there were laws, there are, rules that people have to follow. And in general, these are called the Sheva Mitzvahs B'nai Noach, that the seven mitzvahs that were given to the children of Noach. And we know that Noah, from Noah, the whole world exists because everybody got destroyed except Noah and his sons. Um, and then there's, when we read the Torah, they learn out, you know, these 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 different rules from different sentences, different, um, di- different pesukim in the Torah. Uh, so like one of them, you see in, in the beginning of Horatius in Genesis in 2.16, 2.16 it says, B'yitzav ha'shev elokim al ha'adam le'mor mikol eitz ha'gan ochel tochel. And he commanded, and God has different names, just like different attributes, depending on which attribute we want to reference. That's what name the Torah references. Um, so it uses the names of Hashem and Elohim in this case. And it says to the man, to people, saying that you can eat from any fruit, any tree in the garden. And then they learn from this that when it says, I, I, I want to put that thing, then it says the first word would be itzav, and it commanded. That shows that we really need to start teaching a set of laws, a judicial system, established laws, justice systems. When it says Hashem, there's the rule that you're not really allowed. We don't usually say curse God's name, but so we, instead we use a euphemism when we say bless, that you're not allowed doing that. And then when it says Elohim, we should realize that that's the, 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 the second word, the second name of Hashem, another name. Um, that's as far as re- referencing the, the, the prohibition of idolatry. Then it says Al Hadam when it's talking about man. Uh, it's referencing that you can't murder. This is all from the Talmud. These are all from our rabbis. Lamor saying these are diff- different forbidden relationships, and then um, from all the fruits of the tree. That's where it's and that you're allowed eating. It talks about obviously it has reference to thievery and stealing, and these are six. And then the seventh one we're going to bring on later is to eat from an uh, eat an, an animal while it's still living. Okay. Uh, we look. This is the first one. We'll discuss more of these in depth and a lot more clarity as we go on.